Stefan, Joe. Yeah, the city posted these photos on Facebook showing some of the more than 2,000 runners that took part in the 13.1 mile trek around the Whaling City. The men's winner, Grant O'Connor, finishing in one hour and 40 minutes, and four minutes that is. And on the women's side, Anna Osir finished at one hour and 13 minutes. Wow. You think we can think we can do that, TJ? You think we can finish in? I could do it in half that time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a hey! Congratulations, that is an accomplishment though, getting it near that one hour mark. But let's get right to the weather and traffic. Today would be a beautiful day for a run. Ah, uh, yeah, nice and cool. I mm -hmm. think the runners typically like uh, the cooler weather, but a little breezy though, so that could certainly be a problem. Uh, looking at uh, yesterday's highs, up to 61 degrees in Providence, 57 Newport, westerly. Topped out at 58 degrees. It was pretty nice in the afternoon once we got rid of that morning rain. There's some showers hanging around this morning, mostly off to our south and east. Our threat tracker for today, low chance of anything impactful. Same for tomorrow, same for Wednesday. The entire week, really for the most part, looks to be pretty quiet. Our almanac for today, we're expecting a high around 49, pretty much on target for the average high. Low this morning so far has been 39. We'll likely find the temperatures kind of drop a little bit as we go through the morning once the skies clear in a little while. Uh, 39 right now in Smithfield. We're already up to 41 in Providence, 42 in Newport, Narragansett at 39. But again, I think these temperatures are going to fall a couple of degrees as we go through the morning. Once we can shake this cloud deck, clouds and some rain showers for the off to our south and east associated with an area of low pressure that's just kind of zipping on by and it won't really be bothering us too much through the day. We'll see the skies clear out, blend of clouds and sun for the afternoon hours. Temperature seasonable. We'll be a little breezy today. Looking ahead into our Tuesday and we are looking at sunshine, few clouds around. I think we're dry through the daytime tomorrow as we go into your Wednesday. We'll have a little bit more in the way of clouds and we'll have the chance for some rain showers. I'm thinking on uh, Wednesday night and into Thursday morning, you see some of that activity off to our uh, west of Wednesday evening. So Wednesday night, early Thursday morning could be looking at some showers, but um, most spots will likely end up dry. Forecast for today, thinking a high around 49 degrees with that blend of sunshine and clouds out in the bay. Winds from the west, 5 to 10 knots, could be some gusts 15 to 20. Waves 1 to 3 feet. Visibility should not be an issue for today. Now tonight, looking at a blend of clouds and stars, overnight low temperatures between 30 and 35 degrees. And then for tomorrow, we are looking at sunshine with those temperatures topping out uh, around 47. Overall, looking pretty good for St. Joseph's Day. Here's your seven day forecast. And yeah, quiet for tomorrow. A little breezy still, about 47. First day of spring, first full day of spring on Wednesday, 50 degrees. Spring actually uh, are officially arrives 11.06 p.m. tomorrow night. Wednesday looks quiet. Thursday and Friday were dry, partly sunny, a little cooler on Thursday, about 43. Still kind of cool on Friday. We do have the chance for some rain showers on Saturday. Those showers should be out of here for Sunday. Temperatures around 45 degrees. Full forecast. You can always find that on our website. That's at WPRI.com.